Yeah, what's with the chairs? Let's see. Well, that wasn't much better. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that's funny. These these things have worked flawlessly for quite a while. Well, we'll just live with it today. Uh, sorry, I'm late. Um, I'll try to make up for it. Uh, let's see. Starting off with the usual quick rundown of viewers, which uh, Worley very kindly edited for me on the on the agenda page earlier today. Thank you, Worley. Um, we have uh, we have the, the render viewer, the media update viewer. We just promoted one of the maintenance viewers and um, we have a new 360 snapshot viewer that was updated this week. Um, and we have the Animesh project viewer, um, which is still only usable on some beta grid regions. Um, there are updates because we just promoted one. There are updates to all of those coming up that merge in the latest maintenance changes. Uh, in addition, the 360 snapshot viewer uh, will incorporate um, a new, uh, some new higher resolution snapshots uh, that uh, we think will address some of the fuzziness problems that we've been having on 360 images. Um, and the render viewer has a new implementation that has some security fixes and other, other improvements. So those are all coming. Um, in addition, we will have, there will be a new maintenance viewer coming out because we pretty much always have one of those waiting in the wings um, with the next round of bug fixes. And there will be a new project viewer uh, that's going into QA basically um, this weekend. Um, hopefully it will come out publicly next week that uh, supports putting system baked textures, that is clothing layers and tattoo layers and so forth, onto mesh. So the way that will work is that you will be able to take a mesh face and say, this is a this is an arm, or um, another mesh face and say, this is a torso, or this is a head. Um, and uh, whatever your current outfit folder provides as the things to be baked onto that surface will be baked onto that surface for you. So pretty cool, and along with that will be support for textures up to 1024 square instead of only 512 square. Um, so very cool, higher resolution um, uh, baked textures, and you'll be able to put them on more places. So, uh, and of course, that, that'll be coming out as a project viewer. It will work on Agni. Um, and uh, we will look forward to feedback and having people discover it. Uh, we'll, we're, 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 we're going to look at the more texture memory thing real soon. Um, so we're getting there. Uh, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to slow down one effort just for the other. Um, the, the texture memory turns out to be a kind of a bit of a minefield, but we'll, we'll get it. Um, so those are, those are all coming, uh, and, uh, let's see, some of our standing topics, um, missing offline group notices, uh, and it's, it turns out that what that really is, is missing offline group, offline IMs in general. They're all really the same thing. Um, we do have a project 
in progress now to, uh, we think, solve that problem once and for all. <laughs> um, the that's the good news. Uh, the bad news is it's a it's a it's an API change. So um, we will have a uh, the the plan is to have a a, a simulator RC version uh, in the next couple of weeks um, come out that will support a new um, and we'll have a, a viewer that that matches it so you can so you can test it that will support a new cap um, and if you if the viewer uses uh, uh, supports that cap then instead of sending you a flood of UDP messages some of which will get lost the simulator will wait for the viewer to ask for their offline IM messages via the cap and deliver them all in a nice single uh, neatly packaged response uh, with all of the missing messages um, and it'll be nice and reliable uh, and it'll be able, able to happen under under viewer control so um, those changes are in the pipeline now and um, we'll we'll have that out um, over the next couple of weeks sometime um, so uh, and it we will try not to mix those in with a whole bunch of other stuff so that uh, with too much other stuff so that uh, it'll be available for merging into other viewers as quickly as possible. Um, and let's see, is there other new news? There's no other new news that I'm going to tell you yet. So, uh, but there will be, because uh, we're doing a lot of stuff right now. Um, yeah. Well, you know, I gotta have some fun. There's secret news, right? Exactly. Um, so the floor is open. That's my that's my monologue, my opening monologue. <laughs> sure, Whirly. Dream on. Um, Veer, you want to talk about Animesh? I think we're we're getting close to the point where Animesh is going to be getting a little bit more widely available. Uh, sure, yeah, we're still, uh, as, as Oz mentioned, uh, Animesh is still um, just supported in some test regions on uh, DED currently, but uh, it's you know it's coming along pretty well in terms of development. We've still got a, a handful of uh, viewer side bugs we need to look at, and uh, we need to finalize all the information about um, about costs. You know, what's the what's the land impact uh, uh, for for Animesh objects and that sort of thing. Um, you know, any other relevant limits. So uh, we're hoping to get to the point where we can test and uh, you know hopefully deploy the simulator changes in the not too distant future. Um, and uh, you know, at that point, then the the remaining work would be, of course, it wouldn't be um, at that point. Then the pushing up any. So uh, I don't have a definite date yet, but it's uh, it's posted. Um, did I, I? I lost the tail end of Veer there, but I, it may be local network problems for me here. We're having a big windstorm, and my network has been flaking. Oh, sorry. Where did it drop off? That's all right. You got the, the I got the essence of it. Um, coming soon, and we're we're really uh, that that project is coming together. Um, all right. Other uh, other issues? Questions? Might be better to, it, it, since since voice seems to be glitching a little bit, it might actually be good to use text this time.
the widespread um, DDoS attacks that have been going on across the internet would very likely have an impact on any kind of streaming protocol. Um, so it's entirely possible that uh, normally those streams don't flow through our network, but that doesn't mean that they're not affected by the traffic that's going on um, on the internet backbones. Uh, there really isn't much more to say about that than what April put in her blog post. We do have um, we do have lots of. Uh, We, we have you know ongoing uh, problems that uh, that we're trying to mitigate and that we're doing fairly well at actually um, and we're we're looking at what additional new measures we can take to harden ourselves against that sort of thing um, but it's a I mean this, this is actually this is actually one of those things where we we are one part or another of second life is, is under attack on a fairly regular basis. It's just that mostly we are able to deal with it so well that people mostly don't notice. Um, we will see about whether or not we can get a Linux build for that going. Um, Callum's going to be doing an update uh, for that anyway, and we'll we'll poke at that. Um, I we can't promise to invest a lot of time in it. So if it turns out to be easy, um, then we'll do it. And if not, then we probably won't. Because Callum's moving on to a new project that isn't that one. Just, just to finish up with that. I do have a voice. Um, just to finish up with that, Nikki, I'll, I'll have a look. Um, as you probably know, I use a CMake, so it shouldn't be difficult to spit out the right project files and make files and things. So I'll, uh, I'll see if I can get that going at least, and at least have something that other people who know more about Linux than I do can uh, can work with. Fix. Uh, it's 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 the the new project is is just part of our general migration to the uh, to the cloud. Um, it's one component of one of many components of that of that project, and uh, so it's not the sort of thing you'll be able to see the difference for right away. Um, but uh, you know, from time to time, we have to take people and put on things that are put the put people on things that are not new shinies uh, because. We do have to keep the underpinnings of all this working. <laughs> I don't think I'd know how to pronounce it if it was spelled that way. But thank you. That's interesting. Nothing else. We get a we get a whole forty minutes back here. You guys are making it too easy for me. Go ahead, Chalice.
Uh, we're we're tentatively planning sometime this summer. Not we're not assigning a date to that. We're only not yet. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> we, we, we don't have any rules against Lyndon's wearing cute avatars. Okay, well, if there's nothing else, we're gonna we're gonna be able to get off early here. Do we have metrics for whether or not people sit around looking at themselves? Not specifically. <laughs> yeah, I think it's called daily active users. Yeah, we, we, we keep track of users and where they are, but we don't keep track of what they're doing when they're there. That would be... Uh, it would be a bit much. All right, well. I'm going to land our chairs and wonder whether they're going to reappear correctly next time. Thanks very much, everybody. <laughs>